Get to know your new Roku Stream Bar Pro. Inside, you'll find a quick start guide, two accessory boxes, and your Roku Stream Bar Pro with a built-in streaming player. Let's start with the first accessory box. Inside is your HDMI cable and the power cable. In box two, you will find a voice remote, headphones for private listening, batteries, and an optical cable. You may not need this cable, so you can set it aside for now. To connect, find an available HDMI input labeled ARC on your TV. ARC, or Audio Return Channel, is how your TV's sound goes through your Roku Stream Bar Pro. Don't have an HDMI ARC input? Use the included optical cable with the HDMI cable instead. Plug one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI ARC input on your TV and the other end into your Roku Stream Bar Pro, like so. Be sure to notice which HDMI input you choose so you can select the same input on your TV. If you're using the optical cable, plug it into the TV port labeled Optical or Digital Audio. Remember, you only need to do this if you do not have an HDMI input labeled ARC. Whether you're using an optical cable or not, enable the CEC setting on your TV. That way, you can control the TV's power and the player's volume using the included Roku remote. TV manufacturers refer to the setting by different names. Here are a few examples. Check your owner's manual or visit go.roku.com slash HDMI help. If you own a Roku TV, this setting will turn on automatically during setup. Now that you've enabled CEC, let's get your Roku Stream Bar Pro set up. On your TV remote, look for the button labeled Input or Source or something similar, and make sure to toggle to the same HDMI input you use to connect your Roku Stream Bar Pro. Don't worry, you won't see anything on screen just yet. Now, let's power up your Roku Stream Bar Pro and voice remote. Plug one end of the included power cable into the player, like so, and the other end into a wall outlet. In a few moments, you should see the Roku logo fill the screen. No luck? Be sure you're tuned to the correct input on your TV. Next, insert the included batteries into your remote. A light inside the battery compartment will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. No light? Try a fresh set of batteries. Your remote should pair automatically. If it doesn't, press and hold the pairing button for five seconds until the light starts blinking. Once it pairs, select your language. Now, let's connect your Roku Stream Bar Pro to your Wi-Fi. Select your wireless network. Enter your wireless password. And remember, your password is case sensitive. When all the checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, for troubleshooting help, go to go.roku.com slash streambarpro and look for I am unable to connect to my wireless network. Your Roku Stream Bar Pro will download the latest software so you can get the latest features and channel updates automatically. After your Roku Stream Bar Pro has downloaded the latest software, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote and your Roku Stream Bar Pro will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If your screen is displaying correctly, select Yes, screen looks good. Then, confirm your resolution. You may see this screen if your TV doesn't have ARC or if CEC has not been enabled. Enable CEC in your TV's settings or if your TV doesn't have ARC, select My TV doesn't support ARC to skip this step and use the optical input. Next, you'll see the activation screen. You're almost done. Follow the on-screen prompts to create and activate a Roku account for your Roku Stream Bar Pro. Already have a Roku account? Just sign in. If not, you can create one now. Set a security PIN code to help prevent any unwanted purchases. Enter a payment method so you can rent movies, sign up for free trials, and more right from your couch. Remember, you'll never be charged without your explicit consent. Now, add some of your favorite channels so they'll be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add or remove some later. Finally, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Continue to complete the activation process. On your TV screen, you'll see your selected channels installing to your Roku Stream Bar Pro. This process takes just a few minutes. Now, you're all set and ready to stream. Congratulations! Be sure to check out our Roku Audio FAQs to learn how to change your sound settings, stream via Bluetooth, and use voice commands for music and more. Happy streaming!
amazing Cyan Bluetooth speaker. I absolutely love this speaker so much for all the amazing qualities that come with it. You have something that is so, so powerful. You can connect to absolutely anything, whether it's your TV, your iPhone, or basically anything. But the best part about this is that you can connect this with wiring or technically any type of device that you would like. And the fact that it comes with a remote as well just makes it such a great product because this is so loud. And the fact that you can connect this to your TV with a 98 degree maximum volume with four speakers in the back just makes this such an amazing thing you need in your home. So definitely don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. This one feel good. Knocked on every neighbor's door. No one's seen him. He's not inside the house either. He's everywhere, right? I mean, he opened every cabinet, every closet door, everywhere. Look in all of his usual hiding spots. When you're fully house. immersed in a movie, you don't He's want to miss. Sorry about that. When you're fully immersed in a movie, you don't want to miss a thing. Which is why Bose AI Dialogue Mode intelligently balances dialogue adjusting the levels for ultra-crisp vocal clarity without sacrificing the immersive sound of your movie, keeping you on the edge of your seat. So you can hear everything that matters. Sweetheart, I need you to tell me what happened. Where's Billy? Did you put him to bed? Do you think that he snuck outside when you weren't watching? <laughs> 